Shot from the outside for three, and that is a good one for Layla Blair. And that's two long threes for Blair here at the beginning of the first quarter. Houston couldn't come back, and here comes Baylor trying to cut into that lead. It's a five-point lead. Driving now is Lewis. Lewis can't get it. No contact is called, and Houston wants to run. Coming down the middle is Patterson, and Bria Patterson scores. Good shot in there by Houston as they up their lead. 14 to 6 is the score as the bucket was made by Layla Blair. Here's another shot on the other end. That is up and good. Now finally able to score and be able to apply their pressure. They haven't been able to do that most of the first quarter. And so Houston's been able to make their shots in transition and make Baylor play half-court offense. Blackshell Fair, left wing, three ball, wide open, and that is good. Good shot from the outside by Layla Blair to stop the run. 20 to 15. Get it on the far side. Three by Asbury. Jamie Asbury pulls up out of Tulsa, Oklahoma with a three ball to make it a two-point game once again. Especially if maybe you're not as accustomed to taking them. Anyaji does take them, though. Came in 9 of 28. Good feed into Smith. A little too strong, but Baylor gets the board. Jordan Lewis on the drive. Nice runner off the glass. Tatiana Hill, a starter for Houston, an impact player. Good feed on the inside and laying up and in beautifully was Bria Patterson. Yeah, miscommunication there on the defense. You have two players on the screener and no one. Owens out of Plano, Texas, averaging just over two rebounds a ball game. Turn in the lane, and nice shot inside. Queen Egbo, that's what she does. She's had trouble shooting in terms of percentage during the tournament, but give her a shot like that, Helen, she's going to make it every time. Yeah, and they're very intentional about going in. Yeah, Houston, you know, when they take their time and run their offense and get shots like that at the basket, that's when they are effective. But when they take a lot of three-point shots and don't work their offense, they struggle, and they're not able to set up their full and three-quarter -quart pressure like you see here. Number two, Tiara Young with two. Came in averaging just over eight and a half. We knew it was going to be a tough-nosed game here. Both teams from Texas, both teams with a lot of pride. Houston wanting to show their stuff. Look at Ronald Huey, the head coach. We mentioned Ron Huey, eighth year. Nikki Cullen, first year with plenty of WNBA experience. Egbo, once again, once she gets that far in, you're not stopping her. Absolutely, and that's why she should be your first, your first look. Three-point lead for Houston, 3.58 to go in the half. Good cut. Egbo on the finish with the left hand. She looks more like herself here today. Layla Helen. Blair. Got a play with 16 to shoot. 144 on the game clock. A little too strong off the glass. And a rebound grabbed by Egbo. Here comes Baylor the other way. They kick it on the left wing. Shot in the corner for two, and that's good by Asbury. Well, she missed a three on the last exchange. Came right back, firing, and made it. Bickle on the outside. Bickle got the ball to Smith. Smith with three points. She's 0 of 7 shooting today. Shot right wing, nothing but twine for Sarah Andrews. Yeah, that almost didn't touch right anything. Pass. Yeah, right pass at the right time after that screen on the ball. Delivered it right in the shooter's pocket. Empty possession for Houston. 
Baylor with the basketball. And we've seen the previous two games, Helen, the Baylor Bears can really clamp down in the second half and still their will and just demoralize the opposition as a pass goes in to a very hot player. Queen Egbo had 11 points yesterday, 0 of 9 shooting, 2 points in the opener against Fordham. And Egbo having herself a game today already with 12 on 5 of 7 shooting. Yeah, and you've seen the difference, obviously, in the first couple of possessions for Houston, not uh, being able to convert, and conversely, Baylor sticking with their philosophy, going right inside the Egbo and having it be successful. Egbo, good turnaround. And I bring up her shooting because on the year, she's still a 58 percenter. Smith on the inbound, pull up, nice shot. Great touch by Melissa Smith. Yeah, just beautiful. I was looking at the stats to see what she scored. That's only her fourth point, but she already has 12 rebounds in this game. Shot from the outside off the mark, and Houston dodges a bullet, and here come the Cougs. Tiara Young for two. Good steal. Jamie Asbury running the floor, kicks it on the right wing. Andrews. Jordan Lewis with seven. Gets it down the lane to Smith. Fights it in. She is fouled. Uh, She's feeling it now. Pivot. Yeah, beautiful reverse pivot. Face up to the defender and go by her. Just excellent footwork there. Watch her create this space. Reverse pivot and drive around. the uh, Get fouled. Strong to the basket. She's excited. Give and go underneath the Smith scores. Man, you saw on that pass, the minute she passed, she cut, she knew she was getting it right back. And where was the help defense for Houston? I'm sure that's what the coaching staff was wondering. And they also do things like that. Good steal by Asbury. Feed it down the lane and Bickle scores. Look at Bickle running the floor. Everybody's getting involved here. Kicking near side. Onyaje couldn't get it. Smith, the trailer, <laughs> what a shot. And look, the bench treating it like it just gave them the lead. Got a lot. Uh, just great awareness there, uh, Daniel, to make that pass, too. It's amazing that she has 16 points on 4 of 12 shooting. Because you made a mention in the first half that, you know, she'll get her points, but she has to fight her way through it, and she has, as you get a good look at Blair, who just made that shot. And, and she's somebody that's, on the Houston that should be shooting threes. I mean, she shoots 35% from there, so that's a good shot. There's a good reason why Melissa Smith, preseason All-Big 12 Player of the Year, and an AP preseason All-American. Hasn't done anything to discourage that. With 17 yesterday, 19 the other day. Thanksgiving against Fordham as a three ball put up and in by Blair again. But Smith coming right back with 16 today. 64-42, Baylor number six team in the country playing like it. About to go to six and one. Their only loss, a tough one on the road. At number three, Maryland, 79-76, and there's a three ball from the wing for Houston. They're starting to make some, but a little too little too late. 4.40 to go, but they're down by 19. Long shot by Smith. When you are hot, you are <laughs> hot. And I said something about 20 points. She's one shy now of 20 points with 19. She heard you say she hadn't hit her average I, yet. <laughs> and I don't know how long she's going to stay in the game, but that three helped. Pull up in the left corner, and that is up and good. Miss inside by Kendra Gillespie, 6'2", freshman out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Three ball missed. Grabbed underneath by Baltu Dion. 
And got it. 67-49. Baylor with the lead. Number six team in the country. That's fighting your way through adversity. And she's one shy of 20 rebounds. She has 19 after that one. And yeah, hopefully somebody's aware of that and they leave her in there so she can get that. She can have a 21-20 double. Well, it's not going to be an offensive board as the three ball was made by Jamie Asbury to make it a 20-point lead. So you look at this play. Here's the Smith three. Just said, hey, I'll take it. And you saw a reaction. <laughs> when you're feeling good, uh, you're feeling good. Well, that's what makes her one of the top pro, pros pro prospects coming out of college. And only a 20 percenter from three. Doesn't take a bunch of them, but I don't know if she was showing off right there. Now on the pull-up right wing, and she's over 20. I guess she did hear me. <laughs> well, sometimes when you have a player that's in a groove, even though you could take them out, you, you leave them in there so they'll feel good the next time they play. 